Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video we are going to analyze an interesting game played between Hungarian chess grandmaster Istvan Bilek and American chess grandmaster Robert James Fischer. This game is from 1962 Stockholm Interzonal. Bilek opened up with e4 to which the future world chess champion answered with c5. Sicilian defense is on the board. And by the way, you can see that I left Stockfish run in order we can see how the evaluation changes throughout the game. Because the upcoming positions are really very complex and it will be helpful if from time to time you will throw a look at the evaluation or the suggested lines. Meanwhile, we have neither variation, one of the sharpest lines in Sicilian defense and Queen b6, Fisher is hitting on b2. Queen d2, white is sacrificing the pawn and as you know this is the poisoned pawn variation. In international games played in 1962, black was winning nearly twice as many games as white in these variations. By 1963 the ratio was reversed. Rook b1, queen a3, e5. So black got an extra pawn but now black has to be very careful, black has to play very accurately in order to repel white's fierce attack. Bishop e7 and bang, bishop takes e6. Black is playing very very aggressively. Fischer castled kingside. Castling kingside is the top move right. f takes e6 is not good because of this knight takes e6. And yeah, if here then check and then white is winning back the piece and black is in a very difficult situation. This king has already been moved and now it's going to be very difficult to repel the attack. That's why Fischer hurried to move away his king from the center and the same did white castling kingside. All these moves had been seen in highly publicized game Dukstein Eve. Uh, that game happened four years earlier in 1958, which White won convincingly. Here Fischer played bishop takes g5. And by the way, let me tell you that in that game Eve played f takes e6, which is bad. And very quickly White managed to prevail, you know. These moves are from that game. Yeah, definitely f takes e6 is not that good. Better is bishop takes g5, something which Stockfish suggests, although knight c6 seems to be a good alternative. Well, bishop takes g5, queen takes g5, h6, queen goes back on h4, and uh, this is allowing black to win the knight on c3 as well. After which there came rook takes f7. What's happening on the board guys? Rook takes f7, queen d8 check. I'm sure Bilek was well prepared, although not sure from which point, but he started to burn time. Not sure, uh, unfortunately, where his analysis ended, but Still, we can see that he keeps on making accurate moves. Meanwhile, the, the other rook is coming, king g6, and rook takes f8. Black is a piece up, but still black needs to develop these pieces. They are out of the game while the king is in danger. Although we can see that the evaluation is equal. Bishop d7 by Fischer. Blocking the d-file, attacking the knight. Knight goes back on f3, queen e3 check, king h1. Of course you won't play king f1 because of this check. That's why we have king h1 check and now white king is in safety. Queen takes c2, rook g8. Later this game of course was analyzed heavily. Some analysts were suggesting queen e7 but even this can't bring white victory, you know. For example, right now the threat is queen f7 check. Let's just make a random move, a5 then check. And this is how black can prevail. This is going to end up with a checkmate. And in order to repel the threat, you need to find queen c4 move. Maybe 
queen e7 is somewhat better. In that case, black can gain better chances, black can create more problems for his opponent, but even so, after queen e7, it's equal. So rook g8 was made by Bilek. Uh, now, and now since queen f6 is coming, Fischer neutralized that threat with queen f2, rook f8, queen takes a2, rook f3, king h7, and in here, the flag fell. Fischer won on time. Up to this point, Fischer spent only 35 minutes, while Bilek 2 hour and a half. Once again, I'm not sure where his analysis ended. If you have any information, let us know, please. But one thing is obvious that he kept on thinking too much and finally, in an equal position, he lost. Both players played an excellent chess, of course. Fischer defended very accurately, White's attack was also precise, and yeah, uh, we have such a finish. Well, I hope that uh, the game was interesting for you, despite the surprising end, and in the end, a chess puzzle for you, where the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.